Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little video here about a new Sony phone that they unveiled yesterday. Uh, I made a video about it uh, around five, six, seven days ago, uh, comparing it with the Galaxy Mega 6.3. I was telling you that it was going to come out very, very soon. And it is the new Sony Xperia Z Ultra, which is a cool device because I've always liked the big stuff. This is a big phone. This is probably, yeah, this is the biggest phone ever out on the market. It's the Xperia Z Ultra, or at least I think it's the biggest one. 6.5 millimeters, faster chipset, better screen, and probably uh, better, uh, yeah, definitely better screen, but definitely better speeds, or I'm not sure, but yeah, better speeds, with also a better GPU, I don't know, 330, compared to, I think, uh, that uh, the uh, the Xperia Z, I'm not sure, sure could could have the Adreno 320, but uh, I think it has a Snapdragon S4 Pro, uh, the old Xperia Z. Uh, well, this one has Snapdragon 800, which is a step up uh, from phones uh, like the HTC One and the Galaxy S4. It has Snapdragon 600, but I already mentioned that there's a new S4 coming out, and I did mention it earlier today. The new Snapdragon 800 LTE Advanced S4, which is insane. But this one, 6.4 inch big, it's bigger than my Galaxy Mega 6.3 inch and this is crazy because it's thin, it's 6.5 millimeters in thickness and let's take a look at some specs here. Uh, it's insane, it's insane. It has uh, kind of Sony's optic contrast and X-Reality tech also, uh, which should be better uh, display technology. Uh, so it, does, it should have better viewing angles than Xperia Z. I did see some pictures and definitely very, very, very nice. And if we continue on here, this is definitely a response uh, also from Sony to uh, Samsung's Note series and now the new Mega series, the new Mega 5.8 and, and the Mega 6.3. What uh, this one is doing better though than Mega 6.3 is that this is a flagship device. This is a bad boy in terms of specs. The Mega 6.3 is a good device, but it, it's a little bit like a mid-end device, mostly focusing on the on a big screen size, but not that much memory and things like that. But this one has I don't know, 330, yes, as I said, Snapdragon 800, uh, quad core clock of 2.2 gigahertz, uh, which is crazier than it's, uh, Samsung only has 1.9 gigahertz quad. This is like 2.2, it's insane. It's nice, it's, it's nice. Look at the thin, uh, the thickness of this device. Oh, it doesn't want to load. Okay, that sucks. Okay, there we go. I mean, look at it, 6.5 millimeters. It is crazy and it is so awesome. It is so awesome. It is so awesome. Uh, 8 megapixel camera, uh, which I find a little bit weird uh, when Sony have been releasing 30 megapixel phones. Uh, but I assume I, I don't really care that much because 8 megapixel, I don't need more megapixels as long as the sensor is good enough and not horrible. You don't have an L uh, uh, LED flash though, but uh, probably won't affect super much. Uh, it still has a glass back, a tempered glass back. Uh, and also it has a, a new IP58 certification that's a step up from Xperia, uh, uh, that is a step up from the Xperia Z that has the IP57. The Xperia ZR also has the IP58, uh, which means that it is also waterproof, but you can also go dive deeper than one meter and stay longer uh, over there. Uh, of course, it's an LTE smartphone and uh, it has Clear Audio Plus, XLoud, Walkman Player, and all those good stuff. 202, uh, 212 grams. 3000 million battery, which is nice, uh, which is very, 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 very nice. It's a, it's a bad boy, and I like that it's so thin and still very, very good battery over there. So are you gonna pick up this one? It's gonna come in quarter in Q3, quarter, quarter, which is like July, August, and September month months, and it's gonna be nice. It's a big boy, it's, it's crazy, and it's also bigger than the Galaxy Mega 6.3. It may sound like a small bump from the Mega 6.3, uh, but the thing is that it has this little bump at, at the bottom, uh, which definitely is making the device a little bit bigger. Uh, but the thickness of the device, it's very, very nice, and also that it's waterproof, it's pretty hot. Uh, and pretty cool also that it's uh, quad core and all that. Uh, I'm not sure if I get this one in my pocket, but it's big, it's crazy, and it's gonna cost like seven to like seven, eight hundred euros in Europe. And that's a lot of money, that's a lot of cash. Um, 
Uh, but uh, it's nice. It's very, very nice. And we'll see if I can pick this one up. We'll see. We'll see. It's a lot of money. Uh, it's going to come in white, black, and purple editions as well. And uh, you can also see here uh, Xperia Z, the tablet, comparing it with the, the, the normal Xperia Z also. It's big! It's very big. Uh, but I really do like it that they improved the display. It's really horrible <laughs> on the Xperia Z. The viewing angle is like a joke. Uh, so I like it. Do you like it? Uh, also comes immediately directly with Android 4.2.2, which is also coming out now officially for Xperia Z users, and you've been able to flash it now for around a week, so you should have check out that as well if you're interested. Uh, this is awesome, this is great, I like the good stuff, uh, so um, yeah, have a good day.